Back to the channel for another vlog, another match day vlog, Newport County taking on Port Vale at Rodney Parade. Looking for three wins, no, for four, sorry, looking for four wins in a row after that win away at Morecambe last week. In terms of Port Vale stat, they won the first game of the season, um, but they've lost all three since, which uh, takes them into bad form going into this one. I can't remember what their result was in midweek if they played in midweek, because with all due respect to the uh, Bristol Street Motors, I don't really care about it. We lost 2-1 to Cheltenham, but again, you know, a lot of those players that started and even played probably won't be in the match day squad today or not start anyway, but um, we're in fine form league-wise. They're in very bad form uh, league-wise, but as I said against Morecambe, I said it'll be a tough game. I know Morecambe, at the bottom of the league, they've lost all four games 1-0 this season, and that, you know, turned out to be um, a nice result for us. The performance potentially wasn't amazing, but, you know, three points is three points at the end of the day, especially in this league. Um, again, I think this is going to be a tough game, um, despite the bad form that Port Vale are in. I'm just always nervous about Newport because I just know what we, what can go wrong with this club. So I'm still going to go with a win because I think we're in too good form not to win. I'm going to go Newport 1, Port Vale 0. Do you know what? I'm going to go Courtney Baker Richardson again. That man cannot stop scoring at the moment, especially uh, in the league. Well, did at Morecambe, but that's besides the joke. Um, yeah, 1 0 Newport, Courtney Baker at Sun is my prediction. Come on, the port, let's get to Ronnie Parade for another set of three points up the county. Port Vale at home. Do you, do you read anything into that defeat in midweek to Cheltenham, or is it fence? Is it continuing the win after that great win at Morecambe last week? I think the league form is more important. I've, I think a game in midweek against. Well, it was, a t it was a team of players that aren't really going to start every game, are they? So, yes, minutes in the leg for those players. And I think it's just good to... Obviously, it would have been nice to win, but I don't think it's not exactly the, you know, weir worst thing ever to lose. Yeah, since their opening day, obviously, they beat, uh, I think it was Barrow on the opening day, Port Vale. They haven't won since the first game of the season in the league. And we have a lot, and we've won every game, sorry, since the first game. Uh, of the league season does that sort of give us that confidence that they're in bad form let's sort of kick them whilst they're down sort of thing and and we're at home we haven't lost a game at home yet this season apart from Tuesday but again it yeah. doesn't really matter it's not the end all or be all I think we're going to win today comfortably against poor Port, Port Vale sorry. what's your score prediction? 3-0 goal scorers Baker Richardson scored 2 and I'm going to go Bryn Morris up the county up the county Wow. is out Townsend McGoughlin Brennan Jameson, Cameron, Evans, Glennon, Morris, Antwi, Cam uh, Wilde, Campbell, Baker, Richardson, Carney, Sanka, Greaves, Jai, or oh, Rice, sorry, not Jai, uh, Kieran Evans, Kyle Hudlin, and Luke Jeffcott. But seeing that man start, Cameron Evans, I thought he was good in midweek. Glennon again, that front two, Cameron, Baker, Richardson, tear up goals up the fucking county. Yeah, Come on, the ball. Jaden Stockley. Jaden Stockley. Back Absolute Banksman as well. Every home game. Absolute Banksman, Jaden Stockley. Newport Nail, Port Bell 1. Paul Vale to Jaden Stockley again. He, he gets the hit. What is Nick Townsend doing? Townsend just stands straight on his line. Terrible, terrible defending. Townsend's at fault. Both Newport 1, Vale 2. Yeah, that man again. Jaden Stockley. Do it. Good God! What was that? It's not been the best, you know, for, forced into a very early sub because of, because of an injury, but it's not it's not been great, but, but hopefully the second half, he can get a lot better. What sort of tactical changes would you make going into the second half? And would 
you make any? I'm going to go to the back four instead of a back, back five. I think, it, I think we'd be able to uh, get through the forward quicker. It's just too slow at the moment. Do you feel sorry for Sanko? Like, he's come on in. And, yeah, yeah, and, I do. Like, he, he wasn't expecting to even start today or come on. And he's pretty much played the whole 45 here and up. Yeah. Do you feel like, do you feel he's been up forward for us? I wouldn't say he's at fault for any of the goals, but he, he hasn't he hasn't won anything in the year. He's won absolutely nothing. And then last of all, giving Jaden Stockley one of the best strikers in the league, two sips of goal, he's not gonna miss. It's just it's just stupid to give someone who's so so um, you know what is it? Yeah, um, especially at this, this level as well. It's just stupid to allow someone's face. I'm going to go 4-3, Caddy. I'm going to go 4-3. I feel sorry for Sanka. I really do. He's come on in when realistically he should have had to come on and We are joined on the pitch today but at Newport County by the latest group that of recruits. Serious, but the club's academy is going to play an important part of the county's future. Visitors, number 10, Ethan Chisler. So we've let Jaden Stockley, one of the best bagsmen in the league, score two, and Ethan Chisler, one of the most creative sparks in the league, get a goal as well. Newport one, Vale three. Being turned apart, torn apart by a very good Paul Pell side, but it's a gift again. All three are gifts. Here we go again. Fucking Bryn. Newport 1, Vale 4. Fucking hell, Bryn, let that go through you? Dismantled us. Bryn Morris smiles off it. He's totally unfit, Bryn Morris. Yeah, but he does handle it. And it's 4 1. Jameson gets booked as well. Oh, it's a fucking nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Again, here we go. Yeah! Get away! Look at that, that's, that's fantastic. Oh! What just happened here? I don't know. Fucking abysmal. That was even worse. Yeah, that was worse. Fuck, I haven't got into it. Shit. At Rodney Parade, I've just gone home now and it had finished Newport 1, Port Vale 4. Um, embarrassing, you know, embarrassing result. Very poor performance, I thought. At times, we actually looked decent. You know, the first, well, they scored the first goal, didn't they, through... Um, I think it was Evans and Sanka getting mixed up in the area. They got one. Then they made it two again. You know, I think it was more to do with Nick Townsend, you know, staying on his line. The third goal, Nelson Sanka played it right across the box. That's one thing you don't do as a footballer is play it right across the box. And that's exactly what we've done for the third goal. And the fourth goal, I just can't remember. Aaron Wildig scoring again. Three goals uh, for him this season. Back-to-back -back goals uh, for Aaron Wildig. But ultimately... It was just a really bad performance. And I thought Nelson Sanka, despite him being 17, and obviously I don't want to throw a young kid under the bus because it's just it's just wrong to, to do that. But at the end of the day, this is an elite sport. This is um, a sport where you want to win, you want to be the best. And ultimately, Nelson Sanka wasn't uh, the best that we needed him to be for today. But 
the red card for Brennan, stupidity, kicking um, kicking out at the player, I think it was. And the second red, Jameson, um, with an interaction with a fan. Look, if there was racism involved with that, I'll hold my hands up and say, I can see why Jameson retaliated. But then again, should he, knowing that we've got a big game against Swindon next week? Look, the whole thing for me was an absolute car crash. Look, Paul Vale fans, pff, I, I, I don't, I, they made Bradford fans look normal today. Um, their, their fans, I, I don't even know what to, what to say, to be honest. But ultimately, it was one of them days, um, a very, very bad day at the office. Darren Moore tactically showed why he's a very good manager and a very good coach. Whatever you know, people will say with his time at um, West Brom and, and Sheffield Wednesday. Um, and yeah, 4-1 defeat in the league. Please make sure to smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new around here and uh, turn the notification bell so you never miss a video or a live stream. And um, I'll see you at Swindon, hopefully a better performance and result. But nevertheless, up the county.